Well, good afternoon YouTubers and welcome back to the David Swordplay channel. Now, as promised, uh, I'm going to do a year's ownership review on my 2017 Africa Twin. I hope you find this informative. It's just uh, my opinion, of course. Uh, you'll form your own, but I hope you enjoy the video anyway. So straight off, let's say that the companies I'll mention in this video have no affiliation with me whatsoever. They're just people I've uh, used to buy parts from and if I've found the service uh, good then I'll give the company a mention. Okay, so years ownership of the mighty Africa Twin then. Well, first off, let me say I've really enjoyed this, uh, this bike so far. Uh, it's been very reliable, haven't had any problems with it at all. Uh, people used to talk about electrical switches on the early Africa Twins. Well, I've never found that problem. Uh, I like to lubricate all things like that with a bit of WD and keep them clean, etc. The other thing they mentioned with wheel problems, spoke wheels and the spokes going rusty and the wheel rims going rusty. Well, I can say that, as you'll see in the, as we do a walk around later on, the spokes on the back wheel have lost a bit of coating, but there's no rust on them because I tried to keep them clean. And remember, I ride all year round, so it gets salt and rain on the bike. But the best idea is to clean the bike. So, just reposition the camera so you can see the the twin behind me. Let's talk about uh, rideability. Well, the bike rides really well. It is a dual clutch transmission uh, Africa Twin. Basically, that means there's no clutch operation. The bike does it all for you. It has uh, a couple of modes. It has the drive mode or D mode and sport mode one, two and three. Uh, a lot of people don't bother with the D mode and myself included because it uh, drops the bike into six gear too quickly and the engine tends to lug. I'm not a big fan of that. So we use uh, Sport 1 or Sport 2 or click it into manual and use the flappy paddles as I call them on the left hand uh, hand switch. So that's uh, the DCT cover I think. It's great in town makes a, a very relaxed ride when you're out in the countryside uh, and I really like the DCT, I've become a big fan of it. The bike I had before this was an MV Augusta Turismo Veloci, had a quick shifter up and down on it which was really great, but you still had to operate the clutch in traffic, uh, with the DCT you don't, so that's a really good uh, point for me. Um, lots of traffic these days on the roads, especially here in the UK, and the DCT makes uh, light work of that. The suspension I found quite soft after my MV, but I'm getting used to that. Uh, it's probably undersprung a little bit, the Africa Twin, but it is an off-road machine. And, uh, you know, I don't ride off-road that, that much. Excuse the uh, ambulance in the background. I don't ride off-road that much and I find the ride quite uh, nice on the uh, on the roads around the UK. Uh, they're slightly soft perhaps but uh, I quite like that, it gives a, a nice ride. Brakes are fine, have no problems with the brakes because the four pot radially mounted Nissan calipers on I think 320 or 310 discs, they work very well. I uh, feel a little soft, but I've just had the brake fluid changed on the uh, the 16,000 mile service I had done. And I've got an aircraft going, I have it doing really well. Let's continue. So I've just had the valve clearance uh, check service done at the Northwest Honda Supercenter or Blackpool Honda. Uh, I always find that the people there extremely easy to deal with and uh, they seem to know their stuff and they even photographed the uh, service for me while they were doing it 
which I've made a little video of and you can find on the channel. It's very informative, I hope, and you can see what they actually change and how they do the valve check. Uh, so yeah, that's that. I've bought quite a lot of items from uh, Rugged Road here in uh, Leamington Spa in, in the UK. Very good company to deal with and the, the parts get sent out quite quickly. So, and there's also, as you'll see as I do the walk round, I've had some uh, graphics made on the front fender uh, at David Sword Play to advertise the channel. So if you see the bike out anywhere in the UK and you see the, uh, the, the at David Sword Play sign on the front fender, please stop and say hello, we'd love to chat to you. Anyway, getting back to the bike, uh, seat really comfortable for me. I know a lot of people have uh, had problems with the seat, but uh, I found it quite uh, comfortable. This bike has lowered pegs on it, which came when I bought the bike, and they've been really helpful to me because I have uh, problems with my uh, knees. Uh, so if I keep them in a one position for a long time, they really start to uh, burn so with uh, lowered pegs that helps me to stretch them out a bit uh, so yeah all in all the bike's been great fun it's not the most powerful bike in the world it has 94 horsepower as you know but it's adequate for getting along the road and it really runs well and revs well it runs out of puff at about seven and a half rpm but other than that it's really nice as you wind the, the power on from low down uh, and it's got a nice linear power to it so very happy with that uh, overall very happy with the bike uh, had it just over a year now and we've done 8,000 miles on it i think so we're really looking forward to going on the trip to france in june uh, and hopefully the bike will be super reliable as it's been for this past year really looking forward to that trip so uh, watch out for a few videos on the channel we're going up into the uh, Rhone Alp area and uh, the National Park de Vecco in, in France so it should be some really amazing roads up there so it should be fun let's hope we get some good weather anyway back to the bike I've got Bridgestone A41 battle axe tires on it they're a road uh, based tyre and they're very good, I find them very good in the wet and in the dry and they're good all round road tyre so really pleased with those they were new when I got the bike uh, and they, they seem to be lasting really well so happy with the tyres uh, what else have we done, we've put my uh, BMW Nav 5 satellite uh, navigation system on the bike and that works really well uh, you can take it on and off we've put handguard extensions on it uh, a touring screen uh, a gv uh, trekker outback box uh, so we can put the helmet in and lock it away or lock camera equipment and we've also fitted hepco and becker soft pannier luggage uh, which you can also see a video on on the uh, channel so the bike rides really well it's comfortable for me we do many uh, 250 miles a day not 250 miles an hour it would be an exceptional Africa twin if we got that kind of speed out of it but we do about 250 mile in a day and uh, it's it's great for doing that kind of mileage around the uh, the back roads of uh, the northwest here and uh, all over the UK so yeah great bike to ride I'm really enjoying it uh, things I don't like about the bike are no cruise control obviously because it's got throttle cables on you can get a throttle lock uh, I might look at that later uh, to see if that would help on the motorways to uh, rest my hand a little bit the later bikes have uh, cruise control on because they've got electronic throttle the dct has a a thing where it changes gear when you're in the middle of a corner sometimes which 
uh, once you get used to it is fine and you could select the gear with the flappy paddles before you go into the corner and it tends to hold it till you come out of the corner so that's what we've done uh, it's just getting used to the uh, a new bike with a new uh, transmission system on it so that's been really good uh, fuel consumption mm, about 48 to 52 miles to the gallon I reckon I get out of this bike which is not too bad uh, I'm sure somebody who owns an Africa Twin will get more but that's the kind of average mileage I've been getting with the riding that we do uh, so yeah it's it's a good all round back very very pleased with it and I'm at least going to keep it until uh, September of this year and then we might have a look at the new on the Trans Alp but really pleased with the Africa Twin so yeah the servicing like I say was done at uh, Blackpool Honda now I've got a helicopter everything's out today I thought I'd film outside kind of a mistake but anyway we'll continue so we'll do a walk around of the bike uh, if you've got any questions about owning a, a used Africa Twin uh, please uh, leave them in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you all uh, as I say I would definitely recommend buying a, a good low mileage one this had a full service history at a Honda dealer when I bought it uh, and I think that's uh, important uh, like I say there, there are lots of people complain about having problems with the ignition switch and the, the starter switch on the handlebar but so far I've never had any problems like that so yeah let's have a look around the bike and uh, thanks for watching the video we'll give you a quick tour of the bike and what we've done to it now and uh, like I say if you see us out on the road please come say hello and if you've got any questions about owning an Africa Twin please uh, leave them in the comments below so this is David from David Swordplay saying Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.